Hello, welcome to week 74. What the hell is week 74? Some of you will have come to this channel because of the time trialing videos I've been making recently and wondering what these numbered videos are. Essentially, 74 weeks ago, I started a weekly vlog, if you want. I hate that word, I don't know why I've got such a problem with it, um, but I do. Um, series of videos every single week, tracking my training, trying to get back to fitness and trying to get back to racing strongly. Um, and that's all these are. Every Monday, I upload a fairly short video talking about how my week's been, what I've been up to in terms of training, any questions, any queries that I've kind of come up in my mind sometimes it's kind of psychological stuff sometimes it's direct training stuff sometimes it's about not training or being ill or family stuff all that kind of thing that goes on in day-to-day -day life and then later on in the week I upload a video that's more related to triathlon or time trialing as I have been over the last I don't know I think it's maybe four or five weeks now so just to clarify what it is each week I'm doing uh, just in case you kind of have come across these videos recently and wondering what on earth this is about once a week I upload a video that's kind of about what's going on in here uh, and in my life so what has been going on with me over this last week? Well, those of you who've been following the video recently will know that I've been on holiday and then I came back and immediately got ill. But overriding that has been a lot of stress and worry about contracts at work, changing the way that we work at the university and that there have been a lot of hiccups and a lot of problems along the way. It's basically taken them two months to get to the point where I've got a contract to sign and I signed it earlier today. So that's all taken care of. and. I knew it was bothering me and I knew it was causing me problems with stress and everything. I've been self-employed uh, essentially for the last 25, 30 years of my life really. I've been doing stuff off my own back. So all of this kind of employment stuff is, is new to me. It's not, not a world that I know very well. And there have been some pretty major hiccups along the way, but they're all taken care of now. And literally uh, three or four hours ago, I signed the, uh, the contract to basically have the first sort of security that I've ever had in my life in terms of not having to worry about getting through the summer or over the holidays and not getting any work in which is a massive relief in a lot of ways, but not least because I finally got the contract sorted. So it seems pretty apt really that this is the week when I'm gonna be getting back into my training. I feel like the cold that I had that I always worry about it going on my chest is kind of gone now. Um, there's no kind of remnants of that lingering. And more or less October's finished. And that's always a kind of month that I like to relax and kind of chill out in any way because otherwise you've got your foot to the, to the floor all the time with your training and racing. So in terms of my day-to-day -day life, that's kind of a big relief and it means that I can get on with getting back to a bit of normality, a bit of routine and primarily getting back into some training. And it got me thinking about stuff that's going on in your life that you could change or would want to change if you could. A kind of magic wand scenario. So here's my question this week, and I know what it would have been for me over the last two months. What if I gave you a magic wand would you change in your life that would make a difference to you to the point where it would have an impact on nearly everything you did, not least your training for racing? Now I'm gonna give you a couple of caveats for that. It's not allowed to relate to having more time. It's not allowed to relate to having more money and you can't change who's in your family. So what is it that you would have a magic wand to change that didn't relate to those three things that would have a big impact on you and the way that you went about your life enabling you to train and do all the things that you really want to be able to do. Other than that, because those things are all sorted out, I'm now looking forward to what's going on. Now, obviously November is quite a quiet month in terms of racing for triathlon, but there are other things that we can be doing. And as I've said in previous videos, I'm gonna try and get back into doing some cyclocross training with a view to getting a couple of races in over December, January, that kind of thing. But November's crazily busy, actually. Uh, we've got a lot going on on the weekend, so I've had to really plan this quite carefully. I'm just gonna run through what I've got coming up in November, um, and I'll be obviously making Videos, videos about this on a weekly basis. Next weekend we're going away for a little bit of a family holiday and I have to admit that's going to be great fun. We're going down to Cornwall, looking forward to getting some runs in whilst we're down there out on the, the trails. My favourite run in the whole world's down in Cornwall, out of Poles F. Absolutely love that bit of coast path, so totally looking forward to rocking that. And race entries for Bristol Triathlon open on the Sunday and I need to make sure I get in on there because otherwise 74 weeks worth of videos will have been missed out by missing an entry to a race, which is what I've been trying to race for the last two years. These videos were originally about Bristol Triathlon and if I miss the entries for that on Sunday, I am gonna be gutted. So the weekend after that, we've got a load of family stuff on. Some of Becky's family's coming over and we're gonna have a great weekend with them. And we've also got some really big news to do with the family, which you will see when we get to that. Um, and the kids have also got their karate grading, which is a big deal for them. It's an important part of discipline and routine for them. And also core fitness and balance is really important. It's a non-negotiable with them that they go to karate and they've got their gradings, which they've been working six months towards coming up. Then the following weekend's actually kind of my birthday weekend. It's the weekend that kind of surrounds that. And on the Saturday, I'm gonna go and do some cyclocross training 
training in Bristol on the Canesham course, which I'm really looking forward to. I'm quite pleased in a way that I can get out and do a little bit of training on a course with some other people before I actually go into racing. If any of you have ever done cyclocross racing, you know how kind of brutal and frantic it is. And I, as much as I enjoyed doing that, and the first thing I ever really did was go straight out and race, uh, I'm looking forward to kind of easing myself into the brutality of that a little bit better. The following day after that is the Sunday, and me and the boys are going to a place called The Wave, which is near us in Bristol. It's an outside wave machine for surfing. I haven't surfed for years. One of the reasons I started swimming was to try and repair a tear in my rotator cuff, um, and swimming was recommended to me to help that deep tissue, and I kind of never stopped with the swimming and never went back to surfing. So I'm kind of looking forward to doing that. We went up there this weekend. It's an amazing facility. If you live in the local area, uh, you have to go and see this place. It's the biggest artificial wave machine in the world. Weekend after that, I've got a weekend doing uh, another British triathlon coaching course, which will bring me up to level two diploma. So that'll take up the entire weekend of that and some work beyond there also. And then that brings us into December. And the first weekend of December, I'm gonna be racing a cyclocross race at Albury Court in Bristol. Now that's gonna be my next race. There are other races coming up that I'm looking forward to over the winter time. Um, cyclocross, but also running races. We have the famous Boxing Day run, which Emma Pallant's run before M1, obviously. We also have our Cycling Club Boxing Day time trial, which is on our old course, which we don't uh, race on anymore. But it kind of turns it into a fun day out on Boxing Day. You get up and you do the eight mile time trial, and then you get to Boxing Day run on the seafront and go and run uh, that with everybody else. The fancy dress guys have been beaten by Rudolph the reindeer on that several times and uh, that pretty much kind of takes us towards Christmas really. So that's what's coming up. I'm looking forward to getting back into my training. I'm about to jump on the turbo right now and then I'm going to go to Masters but I'm going to drop myself down into lane two because I'm going to ease myself back into it. Tomorrow morning I'm going to go to Hengrove Pool to the Olympic Pool and just do maybe a half hour in there and then do a quick 20 minute run after that and that's my plan for the next two days. After that we'll see what crops up. This week is about just doing stuff, low volume, really easy, 20 minutes, half an hour here and there, just getting the legs turning over, getting the lungs working, getting the heart working, and just getting my head and everything back to where it should have been two months ago, and I can't wait. And I will see you on the next video. Have a good week.